Hey everybody, welcome back to another Getting My Business Together video. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to call this series, but I figured it'd be cool to kind of document the process and everything of getting my business and my space together and to the next level. So I've decided to do like shopping haul videos and stuff like that, showing you guys exactly what I'm buying, where I'm getting it to get this space in order. I just made a video maybe four or five days ago and I've gone shopping twice since I made that video. So I decided to put them both together in a two part in one type thing. So there'll be part one and part two, you guys will tell by me wearing a different shirt. So here's part one. It's my second day here. It is Friday, July, what's today, the 19th, something like that. I can't check because I'm recording on my phone. I'm in the same location I was before, but I actually moved my desk over there um, just because I kept thinking I hear was hearing my door open and my door wasn't opening and I was like, I want to be able to like look over and like see the door. So I moved the desk over there. Um, except it's just a little too wide, the door won't open all the way. Um, but one side of the desk is solid wood and one side's a metal bar and I looked underneath and it seems to be you can take it apart and flip it. Um, I probably just have to take the back and the drawers out and just flip it around and then I'll be able to move it all the way against the wall so that this will, um, there's just a weird pipe thing that sticks out like that and it's not letting me put the desk all the way in the corner. Um, so today we're going to start with a haul, a video. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I bought a lot of stuff, spent a lot of money, um, but it's for the business so I'm happy to do it was gonna like put up my curtains and everything. I asked him if I could borrow a ladder and he said about five minutes and that was about 10 minutes ago. So I'm still waiting for said ladder, um, but let's get started. So the first thing I bought was two tension rods, which are these oval tension rods here. Um, and they were $6.99 a piece. And these are the 48 to 84 inch size. My windows are about 51 and a quarter inches wide. So I figured I would get the size that was at its smallest, closest to it. So I figured it would be stronger than getting one of the ones that extended from 30 to 60. You know what I mean? Does this make sense? I hope so. This smaller bag first I get. And all that's in here, all that's in, ooh, all that's in here are, these are by Umbra, they were $14.99. It's called a Halo Floating Magnetic Tie Back, and I got two of these. Um, I actually have these at home to hold back my curtains in Wigland that I put up as like a backdrop for recording videos. So I love these things. I think they're a great idea. So I bought two more, two more sets for here at the office. Now we're getting into the big bag. Um, just like some personally stuff. I got like moist flushable wipes and a replacement. Thing, um, just like feeling extra clean, you know what I mean? Do you want to get like a big trash can, like one of those big, like uh, cafeteria lunchroom trash cans, just because I go through so many boxes and bags and stuff on a daily basis? Um, but I was, I, I knew that I was going to walk back here, so I didn't want to do that today. So what I did was I just got two pop up hampers, and they're like a purpley pink color, and these are a no name brand, so I'm assuming that they are just like the Bed & Beyond brand, they were $7.99 a piece. And I got two, like one for paper and recyclable stuff and then one for trash. And you know, not like food trash, I'm just gonna be putting like boxes and stuff in these. And I figured that then when I don't have anything, I can fold them up and put them away. And they won't be taking up as much floor space as you know. I have very small space. Somebody left a comment on my first video saying, can't swing a cat in it realness. And I'm like, yeah, it's small. I said it was small. So um, I am just starting out. So if you want to help me pay my rent, definitely help me. If not, don't say anything. Thanks. Some privacy film, which is $14.99. Um, and this was the prism texture. Um, I showed you guys that there are two windows in here. I'm not allowed to put my logo or anything on those windows, which makes me really sad. Um, but I figured I could do the prism on there instead of having a curtain or something so that light could still pass through both ways but it's privacy people use this a lot in their bathrooms you can see like a bathtub in the picture and in the window so i figured that was a good idea it is 
about half the width of my bigger window. The woman at the store said I could order the bigger size online or they could order it for me. Um, so I figured since the bigger window already has a curtain on it, that'll be fine for now and I can use this on the narrower one. Um, I might try to like do like a scene in the middle or something, but I'm scared I might F it up. I already bought a couple extension cords while I was out, but I didn't have a power strip or like an outlet guy like this or a surge protector or anything. I just had extension cords. So this was $9.99 and it's a power strip, an extension cord, and then one of these little three prong, um, three outlet guys that goes into the wall outlet. So I got those so I can plug stuff in. Here are the curtains that I got. They're by um, Voila. And they're the sheer window panel and it's a rod pocket. And I got the 108 length ones because I do have such high ceilings. Um, I think these might actually still be a little short on the shorter side, but um, I'll see when I get them up when I get that freaking ladder, if I ever do. I've been recording for six minutes and it's still not here. So um, yeah, I got four of these, two for each window. Good to go. So I'm gonna go ask about that ladder again and then um, hopefully I can get it and I can get these curtains up and I can show you guys. So stay tuned. So I hung up the curtains. They're a little bit short. And by a little bit, I mean like a foot. Um, I got the longest ones they had, which were 108s. I think I need some 120s. Um, I didn't see any 120s there, but you know, these will be fine for now. And I do know how to sew a little bit, so I can always make like a little panel to put on the bottom or the top to make them a little longer. Um, I moved my desk over here, like I said. There's my little cup of coffee and my um, speakers in my bag. And then I have my two hampers already full with recyclables and trash. And then there's the, um, the film on the window. It's kind of hard to put it on and make it even. You guys see here, there's like a little ripple there. Um, and there's like a bubble here in the middle. And I would have to like take the whole thing off to get rid of that bubble. You really can't see it from the outside anyway. So that's cool. Um, yeah, and I just turned the bottom and like folded it so I could peel it off again later when I do it. Um, this is the other window. As you see here, it's a lot bigger. And um, I don't even, if I were to like do seams and stuff, I don't have enough to cover it. So I'm just gonna do that. And then my paint cans over there. Um, yeah, so you can see here, that's the desk. So that's the wood side. And you can see down there the um, this guy right in here is what's hitting my desk. So I can't have it all the way over. But this side's open metal. And um, I can probably just take the legs off and flip them around. Um, yeah. And I just realized I had the air conditioner on. So if there's a weird noise in the background of the video, I'm sorry, you guys. Um, but yeah. Space is coming along. It's gonna be slow because I'm working pretty much eight shows a week for the rest of the summer and into the fall. So it's gonna be hard for me to get here as much as I want, but it's gonna happen and it'll be a slow process, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so now we're into part two and I went shopping again a few days ago at my favorite store, which is Lot Less here in the city. And I'm not sure if they're a nationwide or worldwide chain or not. I know that we have them all over the city and I love them. It's a closeouts kind of place like Big Lots or Odd Job or something like that. So I went and got some stuff for the space, which I'm gonna show you guys now. So here's the Big Bag of Lot Less stuff. Um, I love Lot Less because everything is like 50 to 75% off, if not more. Um, a lot of them will still have the original label on the product, so you can see how much it originally was versus how much you're actually paying for it. So first thing I bought was I got this Helen of Troy Professional Ceramic Series Blow Dryer. And I bought this because I use the blow dryer to shrink the plastic wrap down when I cover my blocks, and I needed one for my space. Um, the only thing about this blow dryer that I noticed when I was playing around with it at work the other day is that um, it does come with two nozzles, it comes with a nozzle and a pick, which is great. And the one thing I did notice that I'm kind of scared about is that it has a plug like this on it. 
And if you have any experience with blow dryers, well, you know that they usually have the grounded plug with the reset button on it. This one does not. Um, I'm not sure why, maybe that's why it was a lot less, because they made them wrong, I don't know. Um, but I figured since I'm only going to be blow drying wig blocks, which takes about two minutes to shrink one down, I figured that this would be okay to use. But if I end up blowing up my office building or myself, then I won't be so happy. So hopefully this will be okay. I next got by Vivitar their Infinite limited edition color raven stereo headphones um i already opened them so i was going to use them today on my way to work but then i found my normal headphones um these are over the ear type headphones that have the microphone cord in them and i figured i should have a set of these at the office for when i'm editing videos or if i'm on a conference call or something in case i leave my headphones at home or if i can't find them i will always have a set here at the office. I then also got um, this small fan. It's a dual powered high velocity fan from the company Comfort Zone, which just reminds me of Strangers with Candy. I got it at the Comfort Zone. It's an air conditioner, which is above this window here. But now that my desk is over there, um, I'm gonna need some way of getting cool air over there. So this is either gonna live on my desk or on top of one of these shelf things over here. These Conair cheapy hair cutting scissors that come with a, a mini cape and they were $2.99 and I use these all the time for synthetic wigs. Um, I use them for cutting hair off of wefts and I'm always on the lookout for cheap scissors for when mine get dull I just throw them away. I don't really believe in sharpening cheap scissors because it's going to end up costing you more to sharpen them than it was for you to replace them. So I got three sets of these. I only brought one set to the office. Um, I brought the pink ones to the office because everything in here is going to be pink and purple. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that for cutting some wigs. And then also bought Precision Beauty nail clippers just to keep in my desk in case I get like a hangnail or something while I'm at work. I can take care of it. Got an Airwick Flippin' Fresh. This is a lavender chamomile scented just so that my space can be nice and clean smelling all the time. And then this I didn't actually buy at Lotless. It was at home and I put it in my bag for to work, but it's a really cute picture of me and Josh. This is gonna go on my desk. Um, when he had his surgery a couple months ago, I got two prints made of this and I got the same matching frame for him to have at the hospital and at his mom's house when he was recovering. Um, so now we have two in the apartment, so I decided to bring mine to work. And now I have extra bags, yay, trash bags. Okay, so I also went to Bed Bath & Beyond yesterday after my matinee and I bought a whole bunch of stuff um, and I didn't make a video because I didn't have my tripod for my phone. So I'm going to go through really quickly and show you guys what I got. I got this little like black wire shelf thing here, which my shoulder is in the way, you guys can't see that. Um, I have the same kind of thing at home that I have all my stock stuff on now, but it's taller. So now I have a taller one and then I have a shorter one. I'm probably gonna put my printer and office stuff on the top of this one. I also got um, some command hooks, which I used for, I told you guys I was hanging up my curtains and um, I have these like magnetic ring things, but they're too heavy on their own. They just slide right off. So I got the really big command hooks. You guys can see that there. And then that hooks right into that. And then my shades can be nice and drawn and cute. Yay. All right, so that's it. That's my, uh, my office update part one and two of my hauls and everything. I will be trying to do this at least once a week. I might do it more than once a week. I don't know, depending on how often I get stuff in here. I will be trying to move all of the stock and everything into the space by the first week of August. I'm hoping maybe before that, I don't know, it depends on when Josh is working, when I'm working, so we can kind of coordinate and move all this crap in here together. But if you guys want to see more of this type of video, please give me a thumbs up. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out all my fun social media stuff down in the box. And be sure to check out bobbypins.com. I'm still doing the moving sale now through July 31st, the last day of the month. Use the promo code MOVINGSALE20 and you will save 20% off of your entire order. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get everything out of my apartment so I don't have to move as much inventory here. So please buy up all that fun stuff. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being so supportive and wonderful all the time. Mwah. And I will see you guys soon for another fun video. Thanks. Bye.